pillow of the kids in the size, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fable 2. Alright, when we left off, we uh, were trying to gather up some gold pieces just so we can buy a little music box being sold by Murgo over here. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Mystical Murgo, yes, that's his name. Alright, so, last thing we needed to do, we've already collected four of the five gold pieces we need to get it. Uh, one of them this helping get so warrants for this. Without people like Arthur around. And fucking over to Arthur <laughs> as well, because he wanted those warrants because he's a bad poison. But we gave him to the sheriff because we're a good poison. Alright. And... I'm going to help out this. Shh. I think Mother heard us. Oh, boy. Uh. You again? I don't want you sniffing around my daughter. What? Now push off before I call the guards, you animal! Oh, that's why she should. That's why she used the phrase sniffing. Get in the house, Belinda, and clean those floors. They're as filthy as that no-good delinquent Monty. Wow. Wow. She really does not like this guy. Oh, she's moved from here to over there. Okay. Well, that's the thing. Well, you seem What's to have a problem. You? What am I? Oh, little ones. My situation is unbearable. Words can't even begin to describe it. And it looks to me like you fancy the girl who lives there, but her mum thinks you're rubbish, so she's locked her away. Uh I suppose that's the gist of it. Words describe Why do you ask it? me then? <laughs> Maybe we could help you. Yes! Yeah. You could take my proposal letter to the fair maiden. Oh, there is hope. My heart soars in my chest like, like, like. We'll do it for a gold piece. Yeah. Ah, oh, I'm a bit strapped right at the moment. Oh, yeah. But Belinda's good for it. I'm sure she'll pay you when she receives my letter. Wow, you're going to make her pay for your letter. Well, I guess, the. Uh... I guess that's what collect calls were. So, I mean, that's not too outlandish. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, Monty's proposal. Who was to say? Darling, run away with me. Like two doves, we shall rise on love's gentle breeze to soar above the world in our bliss, forever embracing in the clouds. Can't really do that while you're flying. That, that's kind of hard to do with the wings. Unless you also have arms. Then that's a whole different kettle of fish. I'm getting sidetracked. Let's get fucking moving you with this quest. You kids can do it. I know you can. Yeah. Get that letter straight to Belinda. Don't let her mum get it. Well, I wasn't planning on it. At least not right now. <laughs> this letter's awful. Oh, Listen yeah? To this. Darling. <laughs> Run away with me. Like two doves, we shall rise on love's gentle breeze to soar above the world in our bliss, forever embracing in the clouds. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, cuties. I said what? <laughs> it's a bit over the top, isn't it? Nice save. Nice save. Knock on the door and let's see who answers. Yeah, sure, why not? I, li I love the fucking cockney slang that's just thrown around here. What do you want? Oh, hi. Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Uh-huh. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Come on in. Yeah, we can do that. There's some weird knocking and I can't figure out where it's coming from. Wait there while I get the money. Yeah, sure. And don't you touch anything. Well, I wasn't planning on it. Oh, Monty told us not to give it to the mother, but she'll pay us if we just wait here. But then, if we give it to Belinda upstairs, maybe they can run away together. Maybe. To here somewhere. Well, I'm not gonna wait for the mother. Fuck that. That must be Belinda. Yeah, she's just gonna keep. Yelling at herself in the air. Okay, Belinda. 
You shouldn't be here. If Mother finds you... Yeah, about that. Uh, there's a letter for you that we didn't want her to have. Well, this is wonderful. Oh, yeah? Here's something for your trouble. Oh, well, thank oh, you. Oh, Monty. My little dove. Ew. I guess some people's wishes do come true. Yeah, if, if their pathing is working like normal. We did it. We can buy the music box now. Yeah. Yay, let's do it. 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 Let's go. Oh, she's going to be mad, aren't Or not. Ooh. Come on, let's go buy that music box. Oh, Monty, I can't wait to see what it I can do. I love you. No, you don't. He's poor. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, mother, you're such a shrew. That's why father left you, and you can't get another man. Wow. Belinda, you shouldn't talk to your mum like that. Oh, now you're, you're taking her side. Yeah, see, that's what? no. That's the last thing well, you should have done. Maybe you should marry her instead. Yeah, that's that's but what I expected. You're my one true love. Without you, there are no stars and no moon in my night sky. Only the cold, crushing dark of your absence, um, my little dove. <laughs> okay. Anything? Anything more cheesy? No? Okay. Alrighty. Well, let's go on and get that music box. Hello, okay. children. Hello. Hello, we've come to buy the music box. Yes, we have. And let's give you the money. Very wise, little ones. I know. I know. Ah, there it is. Our music box. A small music box that trembles with energy at your touch. Hmm. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet-like. Well, yeah, absolutely. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Whee! All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's chicken. I, I don't want to kick this chicken. That'd be me. All right. And there's a place we're going to put it, I guess. Use the music box. Does Rose have anything to say? No? Okay. Well, on where do we go? I just scratch my ass real I quick. I wish. <laughs> I wish. In the game. Not... not Real life. What? Uh. Uh. What? But where did it go? Why are um, we still here? Y well, five gold pieces. Let's just go to bed. Oh, I was so sure this was it. I had well, a feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Yeah, me too. Didn't the box take us with it? Maybe it's an overtime sort of thing. Like, it's not going to be immediate. Hopefully. What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. But he's adorable. All right, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. Yeah. Come on, Sparrow. Go to bed. All right. All right. It's all of that for the day. Uh, there's nothing more to do today. Mm. Ho! All right. Settle down. There's a nice, uh, angry, stray dog. Quiet, boy. Calm what down, Bumper. Calm down. I work for Lord Lucian, miss, and he would very much like to see you in his castle. Okay. I've been sent to collect you. Alright. Bumper, calm down. There we go. Now he listens to me. It did work. Our wish came true. Yeah, that's what come I thought. Come little sparrow, wake up. It's like an overtime, not going to be immediate sort of thing. It's Most good right, magic Bobby. often is. We're going to Lord Lucian's castle. I'll come back for you. I promise. Yeah, we'll be back for you, bud. We just need to get ourselves situated in the place first. Alright. Awesome. Let's get moving. Whoa, those are a lot of guards. Alright. 
I guess that's a... Yeah, well, I mean, if we're going to a castle, it makes sense there's going to be a lot of guards that are going to just waltz us into the building. I'll drink a coffee real quick. Evening, Jeeves. Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. All right. Hello, young master. Hello, sir. If you'd follow me, please. All right. We look up at this castle every day and think how nice it is. We both do. Yeah. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. Yeah, it is. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? It is, it is quite opulent. That it is. Ah, hello, Master Garth. Uh. Ha, a man hmm. of few words. Yeah, seems like it. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since... since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and little Amelia. Oh, yeah. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So, where does he eat? Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. Which makes sense. He's in there working all hours doing research. What does he research? Stuff. And history, mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things relating to the Old Kingdom. He doesn't move his hands while he walks. That's weird. Stuff was from the old That's kingdom. really weird. Yes, yes. I believe Lord Lucian heard about that. Oh, uh, did he? We bought a piece of it, and we made a wish, and now we're here. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when you meet Lord Lucian, you must show respect at all times. Okay. Address He's him as my her. lord. Right. Speak only when spoken to. Uh huh. Yes, sir. And do not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. Fair point. Can do. Here we are, Lord Lucian. The children are here. Hello. It's a ragtag group of little stray children with patches in the clothes. Children, all raggedy. it's come to my attention that you have some sort of magic box. I see it. But we, we kind of used it. It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. Yeah. After you used it? After. Yes, my yeah. lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. And it seems like the a bright. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? <laughs> well, speak up. What did you wish for? Well, she's embarrassed now. Come on. To live in a castle. Like this one. Well, that would be nice. Perhaps that could be arranged. I'm working to rebuild... Well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. All right. Let us find out if you possess them. Okay. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Sure, um, why not? I promise it won't hurt you. Yeah, this won't hurt us. I'm sure. He, he wouldn't want to, you know, hurt us this early on, huh? What's that? Well, I, Nothing I'm not to worry about. Getting up the step, there we go. Well, that's a thing. Alrighty. Some sort of magical field or some such. It's true. Your blood. You are heroes. Really? Heroes? You mean like in the old stories? Or in the first game. That one too. Ah. Oh. Oh. What are you? Uh. You okay? Wait. No, no, no. Something here. What's that like? Quiet! Yeah, what happened here? You're heroes, but you're not any of the three. One of you is the fourth. Uh. What's happening? Oh. Oh, he has a gun. This isn't what I wanted. But nothing must stand in my way. Uh, what? No, wait! Don't! What are you doing? No. What the. No, not! What the fuck? To live either. No. 
Don't... I'm sorry. That, that doesn't make this okay. Dude. That I should be very dead. Holy shit. Well, that was fucked. <laughs> uh well. Lucian disappeared shit. from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. Or at least he thought. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. Yep. And so the boy survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, life slowly returned to his small broken body. The boy mm -hmm. awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. He That'd reached out to the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take his first steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the boy's pain turned to strength. His grief became will. A will to change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted his every dream. My sister. That was fucked. Ah, there you are. And your yeah. faithful friend, too. Yeah, my pupper. Many years ago, I promised I would help you avenge your sister's death. Yeah, you did. That day has come. Yeah. Today, you leave the safety of this camp and seek out Lucian. The journey will not be easy. I'm sure it won't. There's a chest near your caravan. Oh. I've left a few things inside that might prove useful. All right. Meet me by the gates when you're ready to leave. Cool beans. Will do. Alrighty. Onward I go. To get into that chest. Because apparently there's some things I'll need. Hello. Nothing? Okay. Hello. That is kind of nice, though. In the first game, that they would constantly talk to you while you're passing them by. He awoke with a howl of they kind of... Covered in sweat and in severe need of a trip behind the bushes. At the foot okay, of the that that was that was cheesy from the get go. All right, I'm probably not gonna live here. Oh, uh, you can sleep here for extra bonuses, and we'll act as a marital home if you marry. That'd be nice to have, but I mean, animal magnetism, huh? Is that the only thing I got? And yeah, that's really the only thing I got. Uh. Yeah, I'm not going to... I'm just going to rent this out. That's the only benefit I got. Uh, and there's no point in having this. Or at least using this as a home. Once someone moves in, you will receive income from this property every five minutes. This means you will still be making gold even when you're not playing Fable. Which is a very cool function of the game. Alrighty. Let's go search it up. There we go. Got a rusty longsword. A rudimentary weapon that is more commonly wielded by poor farmers desperate to protect their harvest from hobs than it is by warriors. But I will use it nonetheless. Light splintered crossbow. That's, that's really not good. It's not the best constructed crossbow ever made, and it's slow and clunky compared to modern firearms, but it's still better than a spitball shooter. It's still sh <laughs> It's still true. Okay. Placebo health potion. It actually makes you feel better, plus it, ta plus it tastes like sugar. As weak as health potions come. That eh, sounds about right. Alright. Pick that up. Dog elixir. This pungent potion will cure all your dog's wounds. It will also keep his coat shiny, his nose cool, and his breath smelling like daisies. Well, that's a plus. <laughs> Collar of holding. Uh, effectively binds the dog to, well, the collar itself. 
using ancient magic. Yeah, that that's apparently what it is. <laughs> Not some D&D &D sort of naming convention or anything. Use the collar in your inventory to put it on your dog. This also allows you to rename him at any time you want. That's pretty damn good. You got a spade. An ordinary garden variety spade, allowing you to dig up all manner of buried items. You Which is have always a, lot a cool to thing. Learn, Sparrow. Oh, do I? Why not try flirting back? Uh, when? When did they flirt with me? Huh. Uh, I already rented it out, so I'm not gonna use this for anything. Alrighty. Let's get moving, huh? I think the next thing we needed to go to was talk today. to Teresa. I wonder where I can find a game front. Of there we go. There she is. Now come Yellow. with me. Alright. No, I'm not gonna Open the gate. not do that. Especially if you're providing me the means Good to go job. after Lucian. Her AI pathing. Well the AI pathing in general for the NPCs is fucking weird. Take this. Oh really? Okay. Bower Lake Tombsteel. Tombsteel. Tomb seal. God damn it, brain. Come on. A strange dark seal which fits the Bower Lake tomb door. It is a powerful artifact, the kind of which all heroes once carried. It yeah. will grant you access to places others cannot go. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. Just like in the old game. Now, look down towards the lake. Yep. The seal will allow you to enter that tomb. In its darkest depths lies the Chamber of Fate. When mm. you come out again, you will be stronger. Much stronger. Well, here's helping. Now go. Now go? You want me... Okay, so you're now letting me off the reins, huh? Okay. Alrighty, that I can do. Now I have to head towards there. Get, ooh. I found a dig spot. And what do we got? Yeah. yeah. Rubber ball. <laughs> as all dogs know, humans are ignorant as to the true value of these precious items, which they discard seemingly at random, as shown by the fact I found it in the dirt. According to ancient pet lore, the dog did a canine, canine, <laughs> kill his brother fat fable. Oh, uh, the gain possession of his rubber ball. Oh, God. They had to throw in a goofy dog pun f biblical reference. Oh, dear Jesus. I, I, I've i never written... <laughs> I've never read the fucking description for the rubber ball until now. Oh, my God. God damn it, Fable. God damn it, Lionhead. Rest in peace. Okay. I'm going to end the episode here for right now because we're a little over time and uh, this exploration will take quite a while. Ooh, treasure. Uh, might as well pick this up before I sign off. There we are. Anything good? Maybe. Money bag. 100 gold. Fuck yeah. Good way to start. Alrighty. I'll end the episode here for right now because I might as well. <laughs> this will take quite a while and... I want some full episode time to devote to it. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. Dog, can you get out of the water, please? Thank you. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and finally getting our revenge. Or at least the first steps towards doing that to Lord Lucian for you. Gods, I was having fucking my tongue act against me the entire fucking recording. It's so annoying when that happens. It always has to do it in the early morning. And that's the only time I have to record, so I'm stuck with it. <laughs> uh.